what's the difference between COPD and emphysema and other things that might present with similar symptoms? Well, emphysema is a form of COPD. Okay. All right, and so for me, when I tell a patient that they have emphysema, that's really an end-stage process where a large amount of lung function has been lost. And you, and you can look at the graphic here and see uh, those holes that, that develops. Um, but not everybody that has holes that develops in their lung has true emphysema. And so I try to make sure that I, I use that, uh, that diagnosis sparingly because, mm -hmm. again, uh, those are patients that have truly lost a, a large amount of lung function and increased risk of losing their life due to their lung condition. Uh, but chronic bronchitis, uh, which is another form of COPD, uh, those patients generally still have normal lung function. Um, but they have a huge amount of mucus or, or phlegm that they have to cough. Uh, they do have a huge amount of uh, shortness of breath and, and difficulty with their breathing uh, when they come to our practices. So uh, if we use chronic bronchitis and emphysema as bookends for COPD, uh, there's a large amount of disease in between. Okay. And that's really what we try and find are the diseases in between. What are we looking at here when the, in the lungs? What, what is, what's going on in this image? Well, that image looks like, uh, it looks like in the upper lobes, uh, upper portions of the lung, that you've got uh, what looks like emphysematous changes. Uh, again, not necessarily something that's uh, prototypical of every patient with COPD. Not everybody develops emphysema. Um, but I think what we're also looking at is probably some mucus impaction down in the bases of the lung. Um, but overall, it doesn't look like a healthy lung. Uh, it looks like it's uh, unfortunately had some degree of, uh, of uh, inflammation and illness.